Morning world, it's 8.35 on the 25th of March 2016. I'm looking at the T-square that is ongoing in the sky at the moment between Venus in Pisces opposite Jupiter in Virgo, both T-squaring Saturn in Sagittarius. What is a T-square? A T-square is where you have two planets in the sky in exact opposition to each other, with both of them being at 90 degree angle to a third planet. In this case, you have Venus at 16 Pisces, Jupiter at 16 Virgo, and Saturn at 16 Sagittarius, squaring them both. An opposition is when two planets oppose each other in the sky, from a geocentric perspective, and it pulls their energy, respective energies apart from each other. They say opposites attract, they do, but only if they go full circle. Venus in Pisces wants to go with the flow, be harmonious, just go as things de develop. Whereas Jupiter in Virgo wants to analyze all the details in a big way to really get a full understanding of all the nitty gritty, not something that Venus is, Venus, uh, that Jupiter is comfortable with. So Venus opposite Jupiter, Venus was going to say, no, come on, let's just chill out and relax and do things the easy way. And Jupiter retrograde in Virgo is going to go, no, Let's do this in a way that we understand all the effective, functional and efficient parts of it. Saturn in Sagittarius, meantime, is going, well, look at your philosophies, look at your theories, and then look at the reality of the situation. Saturn in Sagittarius is saying, change your philosophies to, to adapt to the ongoing circumstances of the time. With Saturn squaring Jupiter, it's the economic and financial uh, challenges and changes of this current time that aren't fitting the paradigms and theories that have been laid down in the past. Again, an example of how patterns, theories and philosophies need to change to adapt to the real world. Saturn square Venus, of course, relates to those people who are kind of born old and who get younger as they get older, who grow old disgracefully. Saturn square Venus people rarely get married in a long-term permanently contented way until they're into the second half of life. They spend the first half finding out what they don't want, but in return they find that in the second half of life the quality of their personal relationships gets better and better. Any T-square will always bring a clash between two opposing um, philosophies, theories, ideas, and the T-square planet, the planet in the middle, will always offer uncomfortable but necessary resolutions. In this particular case, Saturn in Sagittarius is saying to both Venus and Jupiter, you can't have it all your own way. You cannot just live life according to your own dogma, theology, religion, or for that matter, philosophy or economic theory. You have to make adjustments to what the reality of the world is. And if the economic model or the religious model is not fitting the way the textbooks say it should, then you change the textbooks. It helps that the Sun and Mercury are together at the moment in early Aries, and that Mars is in early Sagittarius, and there's a really healthy trine going on between the three of them. So at the same time as this T-square that's causing us a little bit of a um, value-driven and economic meltdown to be going on around our own personal beliefs and philosophies, as well as our collective ones, then at the same time, there's also an energy out there that says, OK, let's do something about this. Mars is moving forward still. It's not going retrograde for another two or three weeks. So there's still the potential enthusiasm to make a difference. Hey, I'm an astrologer. You always do your best to make a difference, and it's always for the positive. So um, I think it's a really good day today to get out there and make a difference, even though it's a void moon all day. The moon is in Libra and it's at the end of Libra. It's not going to move into Scorpio for about another nine hours to about ten past six tonight, UK time. So today's a day for pondering our own philosophies, thinking about what's of real value and worth to us and how those values have changed over the years. Today's a day for doing the gardening, cleaning the house, doing the filing, pondering our philosophies but not for major new decisions or actions. Have a great day, world. Catch you later. Bye.